Welcome back. A Moses Lake resident is serving more than seven years in prison after helping to lure a man to a home and robbing him. Jordan Ramirez, a 22-year-old man, pleaded guilty in Grant County Superior Court to robbery armed with a deadly weapon. Ramirez has no previous felony convictions, but the charge enhancement of being armed with a deadly weapon added five years to the sentencing range. A judge sentenced Ramirez to seven years in prison. Ramirez was the second person to plead guilty in connection to the crime. The victim reported talking with a woman on a Moses Lake escort site. He allegedly arranged to meet the woman at a residence. Two men came into the home with guns and demanded money from the victim. They reportedly stole $400 in cash, his passport, and his debit card, and let him leave about an hour after he arrived. Two people were injured in a collision on State Route 26 Monday afternoon. Gloria Gonzalez Castaneda, an 18-year-old Othello woman, was driving a 2003 Chevrolet pickup east on the highway when she stopped to make a left turn about a mile west of Othello. According to the Washington State Patrol, Fernando Faustino, a 19-year-old Othello man, allegedly hit the truck with a 2003 Pontiac Grand Am. Faustino and Gonzalez Castaneda were taken to Othello Community Hospital for injuries. The State Patrol reported the collision was caused by Faustino following too closely and not paying attention. In Northwest News, some faculty and staff at the University of Oregon are not happy about who the school hired to train athletes about sexual assault awareness last year. TV station KATU obtained a copy of the contract and discovered the speaker is a convicted sex offender. Reporter Joe Douglas has the story. In fact, his only credential was that he's a convicted sex offender. I don't think that that's enough. U of O professor Carol Stabile is a co-chair of the Faculty Senate Task Force on Sexual Violence, which formed after three duck basketball players were accused of sexual assault last spring. She was outraged when she recently learned the school hired Adam Ritz in May of 2013. And I think that this is a huge, huge red flag. These are photos from Ritz's Facebook page and website. He was paid $4,000 to speak to the football team about alcohol and sexual assault awareness, topics he's all too familiar with. Ritz was convicted of sexual battery 10 years ago after a woman who babysat his kids accused him of sexual assault. He lost his job as a radio DJ in Indiana, but went on to give talks about how to stay out of trouble at universities throughout the country. He's also spoken to NFL teams. In the talks, he does bring up his conviction, but critics like Stabile don't like his message. The message that he sends is that this can happen to anyone, and I I simply don't believe um, that the particular crime he was convicted of is something that can happen to anyone. Stabile's not alone. Faculty and students have slammed administrators at other schools that have hired Ritz. Ritz's website, however, features more than a dozen letters of recommendation from other schools. His sexual assault conviction is brought up on the site in small print. Who would you like to see speak to athletes? Having someone who has a sense of research on sexual violence and research on education. Um, I think that those are really important. I think that those are the kinds of people that a research institution hires. The final report from the Blue Ribbon Task Force on Parks and Outdoor Recreation recommends a sales tax on bottled water and an excise tax on motorhomes and travel trailers. They could collect $100 million in the next two-year budget. Washington Governor Jay Inslee did not endorse the taxes in a statement last week. They could become part of his budget proposal in December. The legislature approved a tax on bottled water in 2010, only to see it repealed the same year by voters. The state ended an excise tax on motorhomes after voters passed an initiative in 2000. And that's going to do it for us here at i 501 News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.